my channel. Today I am not doing a beauty video even though I'm in my beauty room. It's not a hair video even though I have my rollers in. I have my rollers in because it was either don't do a video again or just film a video while my rollers are set in. So I need to try and make a way of fitting YouTube into my life because trust me it's time consuming. I have all these ideas and I've ended up filming a video with my rollers in shoved in the corner of this room but I have so many things to show you that I just thought it's better to show you in a YouTube video because I haven't had time to shoot it yet some things aren't really ideal to shoot because it's so cold it's raining outside and it's so cold outside and so dark and that's another reason why I'm filming in here because this is a really light room um, one thing I wanted to talk about is I saw a tag going around on YouTube that was about the un... the truth tag? or the real tag? I can't remember what it's called. But basically, I realised I was doing a massive thing wrong with YouTube. I just sit in front of the camera and I talk, which is a bad thing, yeah, because I do drag on my videos a bit. But also, um, I just don't want to do the edits. Like, I got onto YouTube through Snapchat, which is like real life. And I just, I love all these videos where it's like pristine and like cut and everything. But with me, I don't really care. Like, if I do a bad angle, it's totally fine with me because I don't think I'm one of them pretty YouTubers. So I just think that if I do a bad angle, what, like, do I want to be like this all the time? No, because for me, like, I don't really have a good angle. So can you let me know if you would prefer me to do it like that? Like, not blabber so much, not waffle so much, maybe edit it so it's a bit more tidy, or do you just want me to freestyle? Because I prefer to do that. So just let me know. Now we've got that cleared up. I wanted to just show you a few, a few of my favourite things. Things that brands have sent me, things that I've bought myself, like half and half, a bit of beauty. Um, it's not really an October favourite, it's just a lot of things that I've had lately that I do share everything on Snapchat. So if you're not following me on Snapchat and you want to see like everyday stuff and stuff that I'm buying, then I suggest maybe follow me on there. My social handle is the same everywhere. I am Chouquette. It's I am Chouquette. Not Chouquette, not Choupette, not La Chouquette, just Chouquette. Um, so yeah, follow me in there if you want to see other stuff and today, I don't know if I'm going to have to try all this on, I'll try and put it on for you but I think it's going to be too dark in my house to do that. So the first thing, oh I should probably talk about this because this is the best thing ever, I mean look at this. I saw this whilst I was stalking for pearls. I'm obsessed with pearls, I'm obsessed with beading, and it's harder than you think to find stuff like this. I love a vintage brand from the 80s that I'm always trying to hunt down on the internet, maybe through vintage American shops, but to find it in the UK and on high street stores, it's either really cheap looking or it's really expensive. And I found this new brand called A Star Is Born. They're exclusive to ASOS and I am obsessed with them. I I actually met the owner the other, the other day and I said to her, it's like if I was to ever have a brand, it would be like this and I feel like we're the same person. And when I met her, I literally fell in love with her. She She's literally me and she's, um, she has Indian roots, which is where her factories are, or some of her factories are. And I told her about when I spent my whole honeymoon looking for factories and places to make me stuff like this. So this was one of my favourite things on there. It's a velvet bomber jacket and it's just completely encrusted with pearls. I'm wearing a size 10, but I think a size 8 would have been better, but I don't mind the oversized look, so that's fine. And I'm going to be wearing this so much for the rest of my life and for £175 I think that's a quite a good price because any less than that you're going to get something that's really cheap and this fabric it's like a thick velvet it's amazing like I said to her where did you find this fabric it's like the best velvet fabric ever and I just love it it's so amazing and they have one in brown as well which I'm going to link don't forget just click the box below everything is going to be there so watch out for this brand, it's soon becoming my favourite brand and I'm happy to say that I am an ambassador for, a, did I say that right? I am an, an ambassador for A Star Is Born. 
that's pretty exciting. It's really exciting when you find a brand that you love and want to buy it, but being a blogger has given me the opportunity to meet the designer who flew over from Dubai, not just for me, but she did make time to see me, um, and now I'm working with them. So super happy about that and if you go onto my shop page which is chiquette.co.uk on my blog link it below you'll see all my other favorite things that i've listed so it's just a bomber and it's encrusted with pearls not too heavy so it's quite like a nice comfortable thing to wear and i've already spoken far too long about that sorry so as i was on there looking for pearl stuff i come across this is a pearl dress which I wore on Snapchat the day that it came and it is pretty much identical to my vintage one that I wore for my wedding in the evening that Tallulah ate all the pearls. Tallulah's got a thing for pearls. Tallulah's my dog for anyone that's never seen me before. Um, and I can't believe the difference. I'm going to go and get my vintage one and compare. But it also comes in pink. This was £110, it's really, really heavy, and I paid more for my vintage one that I bought that I had to buy twice and luckily found twice. But this, I have a dress roll, and it is, oh, my hair's itching my face. And my dress roll is, is if you ever see a dress that you like, like this for example, I have nowhere to go, I have nowhere to wear this at all, but I know that if I ever do need a good dress, I have one in the cupboard ready. Another good thing that this is a really good, um, rule to follow is that if it's a bit of an old dress that's totally fine because then no one's going to be wearing it if it's a dress from six months ago you can't buy it anymore if you're shopping on somewhere like asos so i think it's a really good rule to have and whenever i panic and go and find a dress i always come back with either nothing sorry got an itch even nothing or something that I really hate or something that I've paid triple what I normally would pay for. So that dress roll is really good. I always go on ASOS and search for flamingo or pearls. So I may have gone a bit flamingo mad. So I bought these fairy lights. I bought two packs. Um, I bought them for Christmas. I bought them for Christmas. I just love them. They were £10 and they're so amazing. I had a pair from years and years ago that my friend bought me for my birthday, but they're in my flat. So I bought a new set of those. I bought these flamingo decorations for Christmas. Normally I don't buy flamingo decorations. I do, really. But I just love them, so they'll be on my Christmas tree. Then I bought this for my swimming pool that I don't have. But I will have a swimming pool. I've reached a lot of my other dreams that I've met so far, so why not dream for a swimming pool and get it? So that's one of my goals next year. Even if it's one from Argos, you know, a blow up one, it's still gonna count, isn't it? So I bought this because they're always really hard to find. I bought one last year, which is in the family house in South of France, and it, I just left it there, but it's the normal pink. And I got that from Australia, and the shipping and everything, and the customs, I would never do that again. So um, every time I got an ASOS, they're sold out. So I hope that they're back in stock, and I just thought this rose gold one was really nice. And they come in all different ones, like these. So when I get my swimming pool, which I will get, which I'll pay for myself, because remember people, remember girls, you don't get anything unless you buy it yourself, okay? Then I bought Paris, because he really likes flamingos as well. He doesn't, but... I bought him some flamingo swim shorts, even though I'm the one going on holiday next week and he's not, but... Um, and they're navy, so I thought that was really nice. These are by Brave Soul, and I also got them from ASOS as well. Um, he's going to wear them. Then I bought this. This is turned into like a kid's haul, but sometimes... Sometimes, it doesn't matter how old you are, is it? I bought this. Oh, it smells so good. How oh, amazing, I can't even show you because I've got curlers in. Let me try. So basically, this is, do you get the point? It's a unicorn shower cap and I can't even show you because I've got rollers in. But I bought it because I honestly did need a shower cap because well, you all know why we use a shower cap, so how amazing is that? It was £5 from ASOS. I really, really want to put it on, but um, 
got rollers on but how good is that I bought my sister one for Christmas and she's probably like one of the very few people that watch my videos and she's gonna know that she's got this for Christmas so Stevie I got you one of these for Christmas um oh and these so I collect unicorn and flamingo slippers and these are the best ones I've ever had because they've got legs these are from new look and I had got a size medium, but how amazing. Because I literally just live in slippers and pyjamas at home. So they're all my kind of um, silly bits that I got. And really good for Christmas gifts as well. That's those. Um, I'm going to talk about a few beauty bits. I'm going to do a whole video on my daily routine for my hair. All the products that I use. I've got a video planned with Tatiana. I've shown you all the braids that we do. Because I know that a lot of you have been asking for those. And... Um, I'm going to be showing you all my favourite beauty bits, but for now, I'm going to show you um, just a few things here that I've been using every day. The first is nail polish. So this for me is the best nail polish on the planet. It's the Ramel Super Gel and the Super Gel um, Top Coat. This lasts for ages, and I oh, I love doing my own nails. So this colour it is Boho Licious, and it's the Kate range. I always wear this red or black. This is the best nail, nail polish. It really gives like a professional... Okay, I lied. They are professional nails. But they do give the same kind of effect. My favourite lip sticks at the moment and lip liner is this. I found this lip liner by an off chance. It is by L'Oreal. It's, it's called Beige Nu and it's 630. It smells so nice, it's a really natural lip colour and I wear it every single day and I have that on now. It is the best lip liner, it's like a drugstore lip liner and it is the best. And I love wearing it with Clinique Bare Pop, just a nice pinky nude colour. Claire, get it together. A pinky nude colour. And this one which is Nude Pop in one, so one and two. And I really like how moisturising Clinique lipsticks are. I get really dry lips and I really don't get on with their matte lipsticks. So um, I'm really into the nourishing ones. I also really love this colour by Givenchy, which is called Rose... I can't say that. It's number 213. And it's literally like a rose colour. The only thing I don't like about Givenchy products is the packaging. Look at that. Can you see that? The packaging on Givenchy products are so good, it makes me not want to use them. I mean, look, it's even got the Givenchy logo. So that's the only thing about their stuff. And I've got loads of stuff here that I want to show you. Just a few more beauty products. But the packaging is so good and it's like all embossed and engraved. And I just feel like I don't want to use it. And that was a fear of mine when I was younger. That I would always not use my expensive beauty products. Because I was worried about them using up. But I'm over it now. Um, another few things is I did a whole blog post on Le Mer, And I have them in Le Mer products in all my bathrooms because I just use whatever's in that bathroom but these are my go-to ones at the moment it's the all soft cream a thick texture the perfecta which is really good as a primer or to use if you don't want to have any makeup on it's really good for smoothing out your skin and this is just the dream I mean it's the dream. I've been suffering with really bad hormonal, stressful skin at the moment. And I used to use Lama years ago for eczema. So if anybody suffers with eczema, you must invest into this. It's very expensive. It's £110. Um, but when my eczema got really bad about eight years ago, I didn't I didn't used to earn a lot of money and I bought it and it was a lifesaver. I used to have eczema all down here and then it cleared up and I stopped using this. And then about six months ago, I started using it again. And it is expensive, but it's your skin. Like, ask somebody for Christmas to buy you it. Buy one product at a time, because your skin is so important. So, I can't recommend these products enough. This is like my best little luxury. I think every girl should have this. It's just a um, Chanel 
nail polish remover and I've had this for over a year and didn't use it until, until the other day. I just have it as a display thing but I think it's just a really nice little luxury to go on your dressing table. It's not too expensive, I mean it is for nail polish remover. And then I'm just going to refill this with normal nail polish remover when it runs out. So there are a few beauty products that I love. Um, I also want to show you what was in my Givenchy bag. So I know that a lot of you were asking what was in this from my Snapchat video um, last week. I was lucky enough to meet with one of the girls from Givenchy and they gave me this and it's a bit all over the place because I have been raiding it. I went to see my friend who works in Celine and we raided it in the shop floor. I hope I didn't just get her into trouble, but I'm sure Celine head office don't watch my vlog. So um, they packed, it comes in this, like a little Givenchy um, like makeup vanity case, which I thought was just the gift. Um, and I was so happy with that because this is really pretty and I can use it for travelling. And then it was completely, it was packed much nicer than this, but, um, oh sorry, there's a mirror in there. Um, I didn't realise there was a mirror in there. Um, yeah, they packed it with all lovely things and oh, one of my favourite things actually is this, the Gentleman Only Givenchy Absolute. So they, they were really sweet and gave this for Paris and I just gave it to him and I do get, he loves aftershave, he's always buying new ones or I'm always getting given free ones and it's great. It's great for him to just use them when he's not with me or use them for every day but you know when a man has a really good aftershave on? It's everything, and I love him in the old school Cool Waters and the Abercrombie. They're pretty much the only two. For the wedding day, I said you can only wear either of them, pick what you want, and then I gave him the Abercrombie and he wore that. This, on my life, is the only other one that I have smelt, that I have given him permission to wear. It's, it is divine. I'm telling you, it is so sexy. It's, I'm really happy they gave that to me. I'll give that back to him later. And in here I had, oh, this is here because I've been using it every day. This is probably my favorite product that was in here and that is the Givenchy Brown Eyeliner. Um, it's like a little screw top. It's like a soft, smudgeable eyeliner and it's in the color brown and I love wearing that. Um, and I had to, I'm had. i gonna show you how good the packaging is. So what is this? So this is the outside of the packaging and just look, everything is so pretty and I love it that everything with them that comes in Givenchy comes with a mirror because I hate getting makeup that doesn't come with a mirror but every single thing, let me show you another one, I can't wait to try the mascara, apparently the mascara is really good, I've never tried that before. But I just want to show you the packaging because the packaging is just so good with Givenchy. Look at that. This is a bronzer. How can I put my brush in that? So these are one of my favourite makeup brands at the moment. Every time I try something new I fall in love with it and I just think they all look really pretty on your um, dressing table. My, This is my wedding dress hanger. That was my acne biker jacket. I bought this about three weeks ago. Um, and I just love it. I didn't know what colour to get. I wanted to get the black one, but I've got so many black leather jackets, I just thought I would go for something a bit different. And for me, it's really nice to wear beige in the winter because you'll know that I just bought a beige Chanel bag and I'm loving mixing beige with greys. And I wore this the other day with a grey cashmere jumper. And I bought a size up, I bought a 38, even though they do come really big anyway because I wanted to layer it up. The 36 fit me perfectly, and I could wear a jumper, but I just got something against tight clothing. So I bought the 38, and it is very big. And it's the classic biker style. And it also comes in black, and this season they're doing it in red as well. It's super soft leather. I really love all the hardware. This is actually just so understated, and I just thought that it was a really good investment. And as designer leather jackets go, 1050 is not a bad price. So I've been really loving this, and I just think it's a must-have classic. And if you're going to invest in a designer jacket, this should be 
something to consider because it's not a bad price point compared to something like Bauman or Saint Laurent that are two and a half, three thousand pound. This is definitely the way to go. Um, another product that I, another jacket that I got, I have a thing for jackets, is this um, kind of like denim aviator jacket, and it has some embroidery on the front and the back, at the bottom here. And I have this in denim as well, like plain blue wash denim with no embroidery and then again with the flowers on. And they're just so warm, they're really good for like autumn and spring where you don't need a really thick coat. And they're like £25, something like that, so I'm really loving these at the moment. And then lastly, I have this knit, which is from Misguided. It's just a simple black knit, but on the back it's backless, and you could wear this open this way with like a lace cami or a lace bra. But um, I also think it's nice backless with a again with a lace cami shown at the back, and I just thought that was like a really nice everyday thing to wear. So they're all my kind of random things that I've bought in the last six weeks or something and none of it's been on the blog I mean I'm not going to put a flamingo inflatable on the blog in winter but I just thought it's good to buy and um, why it's in stock and you can save it for the summer or for your holiday or whatever and I hope you like this video like this is a completely random video just to show you a little haul because I know on snapchat you really like it when I come home and I show you all what's in the bag this is kind of the same thing and then if you like it, please give it a thumbs up because as you know, you can tell by my subscribers, I am new to YouTube and I'm still trying to find out what everybody wants to watch. So if you did like it, please subscribe, please like the like button and then I'll do more like this. Um, and don't forget to shop all the links below. And thanks so much for watching. Bye.